Welcome back for another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be building a stone generator, which if you're not using a silk touch pickaxe, it can also be a, a cobblestone generator. A good source to be able to get into a furnace to be able to make a uh, experience farm. Um, just hook it up with some bamboo and it'll be completely automatic other than mining it. Um, but this is a good way to basically get tons of stone without having to actually do a lot um, you could actually have it set up to be AFKable if you just have your button pushed down um, and then it'll be automatically collected for a while. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started into the tutorial. First, you want to start off with a space in which you want the cobblestone or the stone in this case to be created. And then on one side, we're going to be putting a stair piece. And then this is basically where we want our collection system is going to be like right over here. So you want it to be on one or the other side. Uh, it could be on this side, doesn't really matter. As long as it's uh, not in the path of where we're actually gonna have our collection system. And then after that, what we're gonna wanna do is enclose this and put a piston facing towards where we want our collection system to go. And then after that, all we have to do is dig out this area right here. Put our collection system, which you can extend this out and make it a lot bigger. And just put hoppers lining all the way over. It doesn't have to go all the way. Um, I just like to go all the way just because in, in case I get bored. <laughs> and I want to actually mine the whole thing out uh, before it's completely done. That way it gives me a chance to do that. And then what we're going to want to do is actually just enclose this completely. Just enclose that completely. Put one block on this side and just to make it look nice we're going to put a block there. Don't really need that block there. And then we're going to put a water block in the stair piece to water log it. And then over the top, we're going to put blocks going all the way around. In this top area, we just need to put a bucket of lava. And then that should create a stone block underneath. And then all we have to do is create a redstone clock to be able to turn off and on this uh, piston right here. To do that, all we need is a redstone repeater, some redstone dust, and then a redstone repeater facing that direction, one facing back this direction, two more dust, and then a redstone torch to turn it on, and then all I have to do is kind of click, you know, let's see if we can do this again. <laughs> Remove and replace really quickly such a hard time there we go very quickly replace the the redstone and eventually you're gonna have tons of stone coming out right through here and then all you'd have to do is stand back over here and if you have a silk touch pickaxe which this one has silk touch on it and of course, if you have efficiency, um, it'll go a lot faster. But all you have to do is mine the pieces, and they'll all, I mean, I'm in creative, so it's not going to work. But all the pieces will funnel into your hoppers. You can build a wall on both sides right here um, to make it a little bit more efficient, uh, to be able to make sure that the blocks don't go all over the place. Um, something also that you can do is line pistons. This direction. Now that I have, yeah, there we go. Now in this system, I mean, if you want to use all the hoppers and then mine it all out, and that way you just don't have to manually take it over to a uh, chest system, uh, you could definitely do that. But I mean, if if you're having it this big, that's a lot of hoppers. It might be a little bit more cost effective to just pick it up and manually move it. In that case. Uh, but all you'd have to do to be able to get these uh, operational would be 
need to put a redstone repeater right here. Put your redstone dust across. And then have this connect. And eventually it's going to create, I mean, I'm sorry, it's kind of loud, but eventually it's going to create a entire slab as this pushes out. This will max out to the point where you can't actually push out any more. And then it'll go to the next one. Wait until that happens just to make sure it's working. And it goes to the next one. And then this will continue all the way down the line. So the max spaces that it can push is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. So that is my stone generator. And again, you can hook this up to a automatic collection system to be able to put them into a furnace to be able to be smelted into smooth stone or if you're using a regular pickaxe and collect it as cobblestone you can have it smelted into regular stone um, that way at least you're getting the experience from it but that is my tutorial on how to build a very easy and effective uh, not too expensive uh, stone generator hope you guys enjoyed this uh, small tutorial this quick tutorial on how to build the generator if you did like the video please hit that like button subscribe for more content like this I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials if there's any tutorial that I have not made yet and you would like to see make sure to put that in the comments down below and I will see you guys all in the next video